been six months since the Tories came into power. They made quite a few changes in regarding energy policies. What do you think about it? Well, I think it's, it's way too early to say. We're heading to a spending review, which will come up towards the end of this month. I think you should be judging energy policy once the spending review is announced and people are able to say in the light of their you know, long-term budgets what they're actually going to do. So I think they've had to do some short-term measures which have been uh, quite tough on the renewable sector. I completely understand that. But I'm rather hoping that we'll get a long-term plan which builds in uh, a route to clean, affordable, secure energy for the UK. The government decided to scrap subsidies for renewables. Do you think that is working towards decarbonisation? Well, my view about how you get to decarbonisation is to actually try and get, get to a world where you don't need subsidies, where you've spent money on R&D such that you've cracked the problems of storage and transmission so you can bring down the price of renewables. So I think probably we need rather more on the investment side uh, and less on the subsidy side, particularly, I mean, in some places, subsidies to fossil fuels, those should be the first to go. This summer, you launched the Global Apollo program, which just uh, aims to make renewables cheaper to tackle climate change. How is it going? It's a plan that uh, we want to be global. So we've been talking to countries around the world. Uh, David Attenborough talked to President Obama about it. Uh, we're quietly hopeful that a number of countries will sign up and hopefully in the run-up to Paris uh, we'll hear more about whether this idea of putting more money into public sector research and development to cooperate with the private sector because we need the private sector as well will actually uh, be backed by enough countries to make a real difference.